Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this beautiful pen and ink. This is the Majestic Maple Collection by Ferris Wheel Press. I believe it released August 3rd to like priority um, members or something like that. So pretty much those who signed up for notification ahead of time, I believe you get like priority um pre-order type of deal. Um, same with Atlas Stationaries. They actually had pre-orders a few days ago and then it, it surprisingly it was supposed to ship the 4th which is tomorrow but it released yesterday which is the 2nd and since I live only like two hours away from them it arrived today which is the 3rd so I got it super ahead of time. I'm very excited about that though, not complaining. Um, but yeah, so you can, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me post about it. You could have pre-ordered and all of that. Um, but I think the original release is August 4th. So when you're seeing this video right now, which is Friday, and I'm so excited. I hope you guys do get this because I think it's a beautiful collection. Um, I mean, I haven't seen it yet. It's just like from photos and stuff like that. It looks amazing. So I've always wanted a brush a fountain pen from Ferris Wheel Press for a very long time. Um, I was almost going to get the white one, but every time I would go, it would be sold out um, because I want the fine nib. Um, but other than the white one, I really wanted Lady Rose and that one's just never coming back on stock, I feel like. So yeah, I never got any until I saw this color and I was like, I need this. I don't have anything like this in my collection whatsoever. So it was just like something that I, my heart was just like, yes, I need it. And I'm so excited about it. So that's why I got this and I did get it in the fine nib and the packaging of this is so pretty oh my gosh i saw a pack of it okay but before we open that um this is the ink that matches it uh this ink i'm pretty excited about you guys know me i love my browns but it does remind me of a color or another ink from various will press which we'll talk about later you just want to share that the description of this is just so beautiful of this pen so it does retail for $120 and it is gold plated. So the nib of it is gold plated. Um, so it says right here that it is a luxurious maple syrup beige finish and it's complete with 14K gold plated nib. And the nibs comes in a fine and a medium. I got the fine and also, oh my goodness, look at this, I admire the intricately engraved brass grip which continues the story of the majestic maple syrup like if you look at it it has maples on it and it's so pretty um it says on here to embrace the warmth of the season with a writing experience as serene and captivating as a pristine autumn day and it says that each fountain pen has been handmade from copper brass and stainless steel for a well-balanced yet sustainable writing experience. So the body of this has a matte satin enamel coating and stainless steel medium point or fine point, full copper body, engraved brass nib or brass grip, sorry. Um, and it has a brass nut on the cap. It's just so pretty. And it says here that it's an international standard size piston converter. So I hope, I don't actually, that's what, one thing I don't know if it comes with a converter, if I need to get it. But it's just so pretty. Like, I will link everything down below. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this. First of all, look at this packaging. I always am so impressed by their packaging. It doesn't matter what collection it is, I always love their packaging. It's just the artwork that goes into it. It's just so stunning. And actually, the box of this is so nice. And oh my gosh, there it is. Wow, wow, wow. Right history. That's so pretty. Ooh, it has a sleeve. So one thing I was iffy about this is that it doesn't have a clip. So this is my very first pen that doesn't have a clip. All right, guys, what do we think? This is such a pretty color. I love it. It's so, like, it has some weight to it, but it's not heavy. 
I don't want to say that it's heavy, but it does have some weight to it, which is very nice to be honest. It's not too heavy or anything. Wow. Oh, I like that. The size is perfect. I don't have to cap it or anything, but you definitely can. Oh, that looks pretty like that. But yeah, there's no clip on these, which is so interesting to me. Wow, it's so dainty. Okay, let's see a close up here. Look, look at that. The grip is beautiful and the nib. Oh, that's so pretty, you guys. Wow, I'm so amazed by all the details of this pen. It is so pretty. Okay, let's see if there is a converter or not. <gasps> oh, yay, there is. Good. Because I'm not sure if I have anything that fits this. I probably do. But what does it say? Rat tat? What tat? Cool. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh. And of course, I'm going to put the maple syrup ink in it. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited. It looks really good. Oh, I'm so amazed. It's so pretty. You want to know something? I'm wondering if this... I'm just wondering because this is going to be amazing if it does fit. I think it will fit. It won't fit all the way through. But yeah, there's no clip, so I'd be scared that it would fall out. But hey, that looks so pretty with my planner, doesn't it? It's the perfect shade. Perfect shade of brown. I, I really like the weight of it so far and the size i think it's it's a definite it's definitely a good size for me oh okay there's not much of a step down so it doesn't hurt my fingers like where this lands you know what i mean like because i like to rest my my pen there like you can kind of see here i kind of have like a little dent already on my finger like I've had that since forever because I always just rest my my pens right there and it doesn't hit these like the threading because if it did it would hurt you know what I mean it'd be very uncomfortable so oh so pretty you guys okay let me just set that down there and then now let's do the ink here again with the packaging Look at this beautiful packaging. I mean, I don't keep their um, their boxes. I feel like I should, but I don't. I just don't have room for it, but I might just with this one because it's like special, I feel like. So this is a shimmer ink. And you can see right there, it reminds me of one of their inks. Um, Workshop Wishes, I think is what I have that's similar to this. So I will um, do a swatch and we can compare. So you can see there is a workshop wishes right here. You see, you can kind of see through the bottle. It kind of has the same type of shimmer, maybe? We'll see. I'm so like you know excited to see the difference in these inks. So, oh, also. Let's look at that. Just a bottle is so pretty. I love Ferris Wheel Press packaging. Always so amazed by them. This is Workshop Wishes. In case I didn't say it already. <laughs> okay. Wow. I'm so excited about this. All right. Here we go. I have my Kakimori. Um... I'm just going to call this my Kakamori. This is the, the brass nib. And that's just... Ooh, and that is what I'm going to use today for swatching. Oh no. The storm is rolling in again for the second time today. And it's getting dark. I hope not too dark. Oh gosh. Look at all the shimmer. Do you see that? 
Do you see that? Okay, we're gonna have to shake this up a bit more. That's crazy. Ma majestic maple syrup. I keep saying just maple syrup, but it's majestic maple syrup. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Wow. I love it. I love my browns. I just really, really love my browns. Well done. So pretty, y'all. Wow, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a swatch card because that's kind of what I've been doing lately too, is creating these swatch cards for all of my ink bottles. So while I wait for my swatch card to dry, because <laughs> it's still rather wet, I'm going to go ahead and ink this up. And I'm so excited, you guys. So to ink this, I think I'm going to use my syringe. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and use my syringe. That's really weird. I've never seen anything with that in there. Hmm. So interesting. Now, I'm not going to fill it all the way, I don't think. I don't know, might as well. I do like the ink, so we'll see how it goes. I have my syringe here, and I'm just going to go... I don't know if you can see this here. Let me zoom you out a little bit more. So, I'm like steering the ink. Okay, I think I suck up too much. Yeah, I did suck up way too much. It's fine. Put that back. <laughs> that's a lot. I think that's a lot of um. What's it called? I don't know. It might not. It might not work because I I feel like there's too much shimmer in that. Sometimes when I have too much shimmers in my pens or in my cartridges. It just doesn't want to come out. It gets clogged and it's not good. So one thing I was kind of nervous about this pen is if it's fine enough for me and it looks like it could be. So I'm pressing quite hard because it seems like when I don't, it's too light. Can you see? Sorry, I didn't realize you're so far. Okay, so this is me not pressing hard right here. And this is me adding a bit more pressure. There we go. I really think I have way too much um, shimmer in the converter. Hold on. No, maybe not. Maybe it'll be okay. So far. I like the ink, but like, do you see how dark it is over here? This is with the Kakimori, and then this is with the pen. How come it's not as dark? But when I press, it's, it gets a little bit darker. So, hmm.
Let me take this out and try to suck up less shimmer. Maybe that will work. So here are all of my swatches. I know what in the world. So everything is dry now and I just wanted to show you. So this right here is what I did with the Kakimori Brass Nib. And as you can see, it's very legible and so much darker than compared to this section in the bottom where this is from the pen itself like right after i inked it up so i'm thinking i'm gonna see it's been like a few hours now i want to kind of do another swatch session i guess you would say like i want to see how it is now so i think i'm just going to do it here on the side because i don't want to waste any more paper because like look at this this is all i have oops oh no but like this is all i have for the rest of the year oh my goodness so I'm just gonna do it over here, okay? All right. Let's see if it got any darker or better ink flow, maybe. Now that if it's been like a few hours. Oh, there we go. So okay, that was my issue then. I was trying to write with it right after I inked it, and. It didn't have the proper ink flow just yet because that looks much better more legible then on the other side like do you see how light this section was I was like no this is it right this is it sorry about that there we go I love it. So this is the I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Fine nib. And it looks really good. That is a lot more legible than what it was to begin with. Like look at how much lighter this is compared to that wow okay i'm so happy now also i wanted to mention this is with a fine nib and that was one of my concerns you guys know i love an extra fine nib so when i was purchasing this i was very worried that the fine nib would be too thick for me because i have tried other brands fine nibs and they just don't do it for me they're too thick sometimes almost a medium but this one it's a really good one like it really is the fine that I like so I'm very very happy with that wow 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 so happy with this pen I'm so excited to journal with it and everything so yay anyways let me show you a close-up of the the ink so yes I did swatch it here and I mean you can definitely see the shimmer over here but I did do a swatch card which will give you a better look at the shimmer so here are my swatch cards these are the wearing goal swatch cards that I get from Atlas Stationers. so I have here workshop wishes and majestic maple syrup to compare and let's start off with the majestic maple syrup the star of the show look at that Oh my gosh, and then like look at the outline, the dark, what is it called, the sheening? Is that what it is? I forget now. Stunning. I love it. I love how it's light, but it does give you that shading and then the shimmer is beautiful. Definitely legible and honestly, it's something I'm going to use all year round. I absolutely love this. I love my browns. You guys know that. So I'm very happy with that. And then... To compare, I have workshop wishes because when I saw the swatch online, it really reminded me of that. And I was scared it was going to be like the same, but it's not, you guys. Like you can see the difference right there. So different. So workshop wishes has silver shimmer versus majestic maple syrup has like a champagne golden shimmer. It's so pretty. 
Also, Workshop Wishes is a lot darker, more so, more so like a coffee brown, if that makes sense. This one is actually like it's pulling a little bit yellowy, green. It's definitely fall. Like, I love it. It reminds me of leaves, to be honest. I love it. So there you go. I'm glad that they're not the same. I was worried they were going to be the same or really close, but they're totally different and that makes me very happy. Yeah, I love that. Also, get these swatch cards. They're so good. It's very comparable to the Hobonichi. I was worried that um, the paper was going to be more like a Midori, but it's Definitely almost the same as Hobonichi when it pulls the colors of the inks, if that makes sense. Because sometimes when you do a different paper compared to the Hobonichi paper, it's like the colors are different, you know. But I'm finding that with this paper from Wearing Gold, it's pulling the same colors as the Hobonichi. So I'm very happy with these swatch cards and I have swatched all of my inks with them. So anyways, yeah, oh my goodness, I'm so happy with this ink and pen combination. I'm so glad that I didn't give up and I just kind of like stepped away for a second, came back and was like, okay, let me test this out. I gave it time to, you know really get into the feet the the feet on the pen and yeah so much better now very happy with it all right so i thought it'd be fun to do a size comparison so here we go we have the ferris wheel press fountain brush pen this is a sailor pro gear slim and this is a twist b580 diamond as you can see, it's pretty close to the length of the Twisby. Let's put it side by side. And you can see how skinny it is. That's so cool. It actually reminds me of the Kakimori um, nib holder. So, yeah, there you go. And let's see here. I think this one is pretty close to size too. It's a little bit bigger than the Pro Gear Slim. It's the Caveco 20s Jazz, and of course, here's a Caveco, it's much longer than the Caveco Sport. So, anyways, let's go ahead and see without the cap. It's a really good size, in my opinion. I love it. So this one I don't have inked up, <laughs> but I just thought it was like a good comparison. This one, obviously, as you can see, I have inked up, but there you go. So yeah, it's like the same length and everything as the Kavik or the Twisby, sorry. There you go. Oh, I just love it. I think it's such a gorgeous pen and such a good size. Again, there's some weight to it, but not as heavy. Like, yeah, you can really tell it's like this copper body, metal-y material it's really nice i love the weight of it and I, I just love the feel of it like this matte satin finish i am scared about it getting scratched though i wonder how that is um if it's like scratch resistant or something like especially if i was to cap it all the time like i'm so scared the threads in the cap is gonna scratch the body you know what i mean so I'm really wondering about that. Um, I'm probably not going to cap it for that reason. All right, loves. So I think that about wraps up this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and find it somewhat helpful. I'm so excited about this pen and ink combination. I think this release is just so beautiful. I love the colors of everything, especially this pen. I'm so excited to finally have a nude color or beige pen in my collection. And I'm, it's just makes me happy i love it so much so definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i would love to hear it are you thinking about purchasing any of these for your collection i know some people just want the ink some people just want the pen i would really love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below 
So definitely check out the description box down below. Everything will be listed and linked there as well. And I do have coupon codes for you guys for Atlas Stationers and for Visual Press, of course. So yeah, just definitely check it out. Thank you guys so much for being here. Really appreciate you for stopping by. And until next time, bye!